What's good, YouTube? Dorsey May Gaming here, y'all. And today I want to talk about how I believe that neither Goku nor Jiren has even mastered or even are using Ultra Instinct. And I'm going to use evidence from that episode that is going to prove this theory. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned. No more, I'm yeah. going to Starting off here, this is after Goku came out of his uh, transformation in a sense. You have Piccolo and Gohan talking, and Piccolo says, it doesn't look like he just survived that explosion off of dumb luck. So, you know, here he's kind of saying, hinting at maybe Goku planned this. Maybe uh, this wasn't a freak accident like we all kind of believe this to be. So stick with me, and I'm going to drive this point home that things aren't what they seem. Piccolo even makes another comment. He says, even now, as he fights, he continues to evolve. Yes, that means Goku is, he's getting better as he fights. I mean, it, it, the more he hits, his hits are getting, Piccolo also said his hits are getting sharper and harder and things of that nature. So, you know, the longer that this fight is going on, the longer that Goku's fighting in the form, the better he's actually getting. Let's continue. Krillin then make it a point that he's emitting a tremendous amount of heat. This is when the heat first comes into play. Now, we don't yet recognize what this heat is, but my assumption, y'all, like I said before, is that Goku has not yet reached uh, Ultra Instinct. I'm going to prove to y'all that this is nothing more than Goku's limit breaker form. He's broken his limits, but let's continue on with more more info and that's when piccolo says here with every block he hits jiren more quickly sharply and heavily so yeah i mean <clears throat> what people are failing to realize here is that none of the guys of destruction nobody's talking about jiren with ultra instinct you see what i'm saying the fact that goku is using it everybody's like oh ultra instinct ultra instinct if it was Ultra Instinct, why would they not be saying that about Jiren? Seeing as that he's matching Goku and even outperforming Goku. And then the next thing they say is perhaps something quite wonderful is happening to goku son. That's Whis talking. And, and, and this is where it comes out that people are talking about Ultra Instinct. But if you listen to what they're saying, nobody confirms this. Not even the Grand Priest confirms that it is indeed Ultra Instinct. Now, what I believe is that, yes... I believe that this is Goku's limit breaker form that is going to eventually lead to Ultra Instinct, but I don't think that Goku has hit Ultra Instinct yet. And then you have Lord Beerus uh, pictured here, but you have Whis in the background saying, yes, though this is just my assumption, of course. Meaning Whis isn't even sure, which is kind of surprising because if Whis knows this, you would think that he would be able to recognize this, but he's not able to recognize this fully because it, it hasn't fully happened yet. Goku is more at the cusp of entering into what they know as Ultra Instinct. And that's when Beerus even says Ultra Instinct. But what's interesting is when you see Whis using Ultra Instinct against Goku and Vegeta when they were training, Whis wasn't giving off heat. He wasn't giving off an aura or anything of that effect. So we have to ask ourselves, is Goku, was Goku using his Ultra Instinct? I will have to say no. I think what Vegeta did against Ribrian was more Ultra Instinct-esque than what Goku is doing. And then you have uh, the Kai from one of the, the 12 universes said, I see those movements. I see those movements. He's recognizing it. You see? He goes on to say basically that he, he recognizes those movements that Goku is doing because he heard what we said. Everybody's hearing what we said and, and they recognizing the movements, but it's not just standing out to them. It's not just jumping out at them as clear cut ultra instinct. And he says that this is a state not even a god can easily attain. So it is a state, meaning it is, you can look at it as a transformation or an evolution. But I'm going to prove once again that if you continue on, we are going to find out that Goku has not stepped into Ultra Instinct, but has literally broken his limit. And Jiren doesn't know Ultra Instinct as well. 
uh, that Jiren, in a sense, they're just at a completely different level. It says, I'm not sure why, but the other guys appear to be getting worked up. Why? Because they heard what we said and they're starting to see, is this Ultra Instinct? They're not for sure yet. There's something about Ultra Instinct that's missing with Goku. And, and I think the reason, like I said, they're so confused about it is because he's lo he looks different. He's giving off heat. And, the, and heat, this heat that is being emitted is not associated with Ultra Instinct. But indeed, Goku is. And then you have the Grand Prix saying, well, it may be a little early to draw a conclusion. If the Grand Prix is not confirming it, then why are we saying that Goku has unlocked Ultra Instinct? He hasn't. Neither has Jiren. Otherwise, they would have said that. Now, is Jiren stronger than uh, his universe's God of Destruction? Yes, that was confirmed in the manga, but that doesn't mean that Jiren knows Ultra Instinct. And then the Grand Priest grows on to say, regardless, this development is captivating. Why? Because the Grand Prince is even saying that Goku doesn't know. He's not saying. He said it's a little early. He's basically saying it's too early to tell. And like I said, people say, well, Jiren can beat their God of Destruction, so he has Ultra Instinct. No, we specifically said that if you knew Ultra Instinct, you basically, nothing can hurt you. Nothing can hurt you. But Goku lands a punch on Jiren, so does Hit. Then Whis comes back and says, however, the main point is something else. So basically what Whis is saying is that, wow, something has happened. And it appears, could this, he said, could this be, basically, could this be Ultra Instinct? They're not sure. Nobody is sure 100%. And this is coming from people who know Ultra Instinct. But he goes on to say, however, meaning anyway, that's not the main point. The main point is this. And he goes on to explain Goku breaking his limit. In that explosion, the raging power of the spirit bomb that entered Goku-san and Goku-san's own power to resist it, he's explaining what happened to Goku beyond the clash of power. Okay. Goku-san broke through the shell to the deeper potential within himself. And if you look at this image, and the next image, that is the image that they showed at the be very beginning of Dragon Ball Super whenever it's first coming on and people are saying, Ultra Instinct, no, no. We had it right the first time when we said Limit Breaker Goku. Goku has broken his limit. He has not learned Ultra Instinct. If Goku knew Ultra Instinct, Jiren would not stand a chance. Jiren himself doesn't even know Ultra Instinct. We says again, that is my assumption, meaning that is not fact. That is what he assumes. Even the Grand Priest is not able to confirm that this is indeed Ultra Instinct. So when you're listening to guys like Geekdom and other people talking about Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct, look at what the episode is saying. This is not Ultra Instinct. Is it a new transformation in a sense? Yes, because Goku has reached a new limit, meaning his potential, he, he stepped into a whole nother level of his potential. He stepped into another realm of power. And then Reese goes on to say, that's all fine, however, and he's going to explain the heat. Now, what I believe, and I'm going to get to this, what I believe Goku has indeed, yes, broken his limit, but there's something special about his eyes. There's something special about this heat that even Jiren is able to recognize it. You notice before Goku attacks Jiren, well, when he's attacking Jiren, uh, and that's when we says that heat. We doesn't understand the heat. We we cannot explain the heat. This has nothing to do with Ultra Instinct. It has something completely different that is going on. But like I said, back to the point. His eyes. You notice whenever Jiren is fighting somebody, he's he may be fighting them, going toe to toe with Goku and with Hit. But whenever Jiren's eyes flash, that's when Jiren unleashes an attack. Anybody find it strange? That the exact same thing happened to the, to Goku? And even Wee says, I'm not sure about this. He's not sure about the heat. This is the image that Goku's eyes, when his eyes flashed black and then went back to silver before attacking or landing a punch and a key blast on Jiren. You see what I'm saying? Look back at, Go, at, at the fight. Look back at, at Jiren's fights. His eyes flash, even in the fight against Hit, when he broke through the barrier. His eyes 
splashed when he was fighting against the Super Bowl. His, I mean, the, the spirit bomb, not the Super Bowl, the spirit bomb. His eyes flashed. This right here was Jiren's eyes flashing before um, uh, attacking Goku. His eyes flashed. Look at his eyes, people. I think what happened is that that Jiren's energy was absorbed into Goku as well whenever Jiren was fighting against the, super, the spirit bomb. Whenever the spirit bomb imploded on itself, it absorbed some of Jiren's energy too. And when it came into Goku and Goku was absorbed into it, Goku got some of Jiren's energy. Goku was on the level with Jiren. And that's when Jiren says that heat, that is your limit. I think Jiren understands the heat. Whis doesn't understand it. Jiren understands it. Why? Because it has to do something with Jiren as well. All in all, y'all, Goku has not reached limit uh, ultimate in, ultimate instinct yet, and neither has Jiren. The proof is in the pudding. That's all we got for right now, y'all. Till next time, and God bless.